Is this on me? Oh my god, this is on me. Yeah, yeah okay, so. Which one is this? Um, the psychology one? Yes, yeah. this is the psychology one, Kev. You know, get with the program. Off, right? No, I, I'm just the moderator. Yes, I am. I will. Yeah, I, I have questions for you. Yes. Okay. This is science. I, we're going to answer questions. Yeah, I have no answers. You, you're supposed to but have we're those. We're all going to answer. I see how this works. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is. That, that's why. Trying I, to blindside us with questions. Tell, no, it's fine. Oh. You're going to define. I already, I already interviewed you, so you, you survived that. So, mm -hmm. actually, I did all. That sounded so bad. I interviewed all of you. All three of you, didn't You're I? You're talking like that. There's no one in the room right now. Yeah. I didn't realize. Hello. How are you doing? No, <laughs> 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 the mic is on. Right this yeah, talk, talk um, down to this. Is that yeah. better? Okay. So a huge thank Thanks, you for Rick. showing up. Um, it's amazing. Oh my gosh. Do I know any of you? Any names that we know? Any? Uh, <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out. Hey. <laughs> yeah, I know some people. Kai from Missouri High School in the building. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're talking psychology. Can we talk psychology a little bit? <laughs> of course. Of course. Yeah. And okay, all three of you, we you know what we're going to be talking about and did homework. You have notes? <laughs> Anybody has notes? Yes. Well, I think that the people yes. would like to know who you are. Uh, oh, living my rhapsody, LMR. Nice to meet y'all. <laughs> there you go. Awesome. Next. Yeah. <laughs> Over there. Who are you, sir? Uh, my name's no, you're Kev. not, sir. My I'm name's sorry. Kev. I, I have a YouTube channel called Bridge Four. It's uh. It's based, ah, thank you. it's based off uh, my favorite book series. I love the song of Ice and Fire, but I think everyone should also read uh, Stormlight Archive, or basically anything that Brandon Sanderson writes. He's awesome. Sanderson. There you go. Yeah. And uh, JR from Geek Chat One. Yeah. I have some and awesome. the one and only, <laughs> the Mr. Don Tony, Tony Teflon, Teflon, the Don himself. Yeah. In the building, baby, in the building. We're here to do it again. You know how we do. I'm, I'm, I'm Thank I'm you for everyone for coming here. Am I starstruck cool. with all of these guys? Is this, is this everybody's first panel? Tony, you had one this morning, right? I just had one. I just yes, finished this yes, panel. he I had one. Where have you been? Sorry, I'm, I'm not. It was, it was the first one for me. Yes, okay. Hello. I've been at the, my, at the hotel room prepping for the next panel. I'm making them, <laughs> next I'm making the them feel bad right now. I'm, <laughs> I'm messing with them right now. I'm sorry. Right. It's early. It's 1 o'clock. It is. Yes. It is 1 o'clock. Yes. Everybody okay? I'm so glad this panel. Don't ask me. I don't know. This is my time zone. The the, we're central, right? The only time zone that matters. I'm sorry. Did I? Oh, I'm uh oh. <laughs> East Coast in the house. I love all of you. I love all East of you. Side. East Coast. <laughs> Let East me. Side. Oh my gosh. Uh, I, okay. I went it, to go bowling last night, and I, yes. I went outside at 7:30 according to my computer because I <laughs> my, my lanes were at eight o'clock. Yeah. I get outside, I look at my phone, and it's 6:30. I'm like, where, where am I? <laughs> <laughs> so I, didn't realize, I didn't we cannot I was time, time zone. zone. <laughs> we cannot time zone. No, I, I always say, what time zone? People are like eight o'clock. I'm like, what time zone? Just just get with the program anyway. <laughs> That's why I started we saying have good to. time zone. Exactly. Cause, cause That's it's where, ridiculous yeah. to try and figure out where everybody's yeah. at. Yeah. But um, before we started. I would like to see, where are you all from? What do we have? Do we have U.S. here? Is anybody from outside of U.S.? I'm just wondering. Yeah, no? We Tennessee yeah. is in the house right <laughs> over there, right? Yeah. Yeah. Bye-bye. Tennessee, <laughs> Tennessee up in there. I know, we, I know we have at least one Texas. Who else from Texas? There we yeah. go. Oh, oh, yeah. Texas. Uh, that's what I'm talking awesome. about. Awesome. Awesome. Who about New York? Anybody here from New York? Rep in New York? No. Nope. All right. Go. All right. Go. Welcome. New Jersey? That's Anyone New Jersey? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> there you go. Yeah, there we go. So, <laughs> see, there you go. What, I love state? this. I love. Go ahead. I'm, I won't interrupt. What state? Um, you said Pacific Northwest. Washington. Well, that's Washington, very Northwest. Okay. Well, I grew up in Oregon, so that makes <laughs> total sense. Or, like Vancouver, where are you guys from? Uh, we're from Tacoma. Tacoma. Uh, capital. <laughs> nice. From, yes, sir. Uh, Philly. Nice. Philly. Yes, there Philly in the building. Yes, sir. Woo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. See, I, I love this. Everybody, like, this is, like, you're, like, from everywhere. Florida. I'm loving. There we go. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Ooh, We're, doing intros, We're doing intros, Tony. We're doing, did I just nice. do your thing? Uh, you you always said. ask the, the where is everybody hood, from. Right? Yeah, yeah, there we go, hood, Tony. Everybody know where you're going. But do y'all know exactly what the panel's about? Would you like to explain it? Yeah, I, I guess. I just need to remember. I have no notes on yeah. <laughs> I have notes. No, 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 Tony. I, you know, I wing everything. Go right. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I don't mean to cut you off. No, <laughs> All right. So psychology. Um, I'm going to keep it simple because it's, it's very early. It's 1 o'clock, and most of you probably partied, so I'll keep it very simple. Not that you need it. I need It's for me. I'll keep it simple for me. That's all. 
um, these people are very much prepared. They're always prepared. <laughs> they better be. We, we always bring it. You, br you bring it, and I have questions. So I will not give you a definition of what social psychology is. You can Google it. I will not Google it here, and I forgot. I know what it is. I guess bringing things together, like how we are affected by being in the proximity of others. Like here as a hu this huge group, we're not just individuals. We are interacting, right? Like we're hearing other people's opinions. We may have our own. You may be speaking out on that stuff. But some of us will just kind of keep quiet or we'll see that, okay, this person is speaking up. I can speak up. I have it in me. Or like, wait, this is like weird behavior. I will not do that. I will learn from them. I'll be better. Um, so yeah, it's like we are affected by everything. We may think like I'm my own person, but kind of in a way, like you learn from others' mistakes and you learn from whatever good is in them. So I wanted to know, I'm gonna go from here, because why not? Because <laughs> it's so new. Okay, sorry, guys. <laughs> no, so um, what do you love about this whole fandom? What, what made you fall in love with it? At first place. I think it's everything you just said. Look at all the people from different places, different walks of life that all got into this. You know, a lot of times, like, when I do my, my show and stuff like that, you know, I have a chick on there, Nicolina, and she's a real astrophysicist, you know? And I would never have a chance to talk to an astrophysicist in my <laughs> life. You know, I have James Johnson, who's a lawyer, on my show all the time. You know, the only time I ever spoke to a lawyer is when I had to hire one. You know, so <laughs> this has brought these people together and stuff. And look, got people that probably would never have spoke together, never even had nothing in common to talk about, you know, brought them together. So that's what I get out of this, and that's what I like mostly about the uh, fandom is the diversity in the fandom. And women, men, all into it together, you know? So that's what I like about it the most. Beautiful. Well, well said. I'm a dumb. Completely agree, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. That's why we go here first. No, I'm sorry, G.I. <laughs> and we're gonna go after Tony. Yes, you have to go after Tony. Kev, I'm sorry. You're gonna be. Oh, the, no, see, you're not. A, a, Kev is gonna have to go last, so he has a lot to. <laughs> to back and clean up. Go go right. I believe right. in you, Kev. You can do it. You <laughs> just listen to that music channel, all the. Okay, J. go ahead. <laughs> uh, Capitalizing on what Tony said, absolutely. The, the fact that it brings everybody together and everybody has a common voice or a common interest, right? And so it, this convention especially, I mean, it creates this kind of its own environment around it, right? Like I've been to a fair amount of conventions, whether it's San Diego or Dragon Con or wherever, but this con is completely different and unique because everybody's here for the same reason, right? It, it, it's because we love something, we enjoy it, we want partic to participate with everybody in it. So it's great to be able to come and hang out and talk to everybody with conversations that you wouldn't have with anybody else ever. Like people started channels because they didn't have anybody else to talk to or have an outlet. So join the chat, right? I mean, have a conversation about it and it's a great launching pad for everybody to be able to talk, communicate and- <laughs> Sorry. They're laughing at <laughs> him, not at you. Bike. It's perfect. But that's, that's what my favorite part of it is. It's being able to meet people and, and talk about something that you're passionate about. That's the important part. Again, well said. Thank, Thank you. you. Now, Kev, you're next. <laughs> Tone, Tone got applause. You need to yeah, I got applause. Got yes, everybody, <laughs> please, come on. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Uh, I mean, what they said is how I feel, but I'll, I'll go two different routes. So, I mean, a, a lot of us, um, all four of us, a lot of people out there, um, we're, we're big into the online community in the sense of the, you know, there's a lot of different communities here, but one of them is the online community. So the first good thing about it is that, like, I get to yell at people and make fun of people, and they can't do anything about it because they're really, really far away. Um, that's... <laughs> Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, I'm pretty good at doing bad jokes. Now, the second thing is that, um, I guess, like, all my friends are into mixed martial arts or, like, soccer. You know, pretty much that's it. See, growing up, like, I've always loved Lord of the Rings and all fan high fantasy. Pretty much uh, the people I've made through this online community are becoming, they're replacing my friends. So that's the selfish reason of uh, the, one of the good things about this is for selfish reasons, I've now got friends who have the same interests I do. Like, my number one interest is high fantasy. None of my friends or family really like that. But um, I guess all you guys do is pretty cool. <laughs> which, which is a whole new family now to begin with. So exactly. it works exactly. out perfect, Exactly, fandom. Right? Exactly. Uh, you, you're done, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm done. I, I <laughs> that was great. Yeah, that was so good. <laughs> just fucking with you. Um, so, um, whatever we just said, is anybody else, do you want to add anything? Like, why are you here? I mean, thank you for being here. I'm not saying, why are you here? I'm saying, why, why, are you, why are you here? Um, Carol. Oh. Uh, I mean, you know, everyone 
Beautiful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, exactly. Like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> right. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> how, how many people ran into somebody at the airport or saw somebody coming in? Right. right? Everybody's coming from all over the place. It, it's like you're in the know, right? You get that nod because it's how everybody's got something on. It says, you yeah. know, Game of Thrones. Whether it's it's quiet and on the slide, and you're like, oh, that's clever, right? Yeah. That, that's a smart shirt. I get it. And then after that, you're like, but you have something to talk about, right? It starts the conversation. So it starts the, the chat. So it's amazing. And everybody knows it because everybody sees it. It's like, ah, oh, I got you. Gotcha. Unless it's All a right, house bye. you hate, then what do you do? You just stare at like. No, that's when you have the conversation. Like, uh, uh. yeah. Have you, have, you guys Civil. Seen, have you guys seen the? Um, there's a girl here with a red Siberian husky. It's a, you know white with a little red trim on it. It looks. Yeah. You've seen it, right? How awesome! That I mean, all dogs are awesome. That's a pretty awesome dog. It's named Ghost, and I, I think oh. um, I think the fan has uh, uh, a Nymeria and a lady as well. <laughs> See, I, th I think a lot of people so, um, name their pets like you, Ghost right now, which is like so awesome because they. I feel bad for the ones who named Daenerys. I know. Yeah, and I know we're, I I never go on script because going off script I, that's the best part sometimes. So if you're here just for pure psychology, I'm so sorry because we're gonna go off script. Yes, ma'am. Right. Mm -hmm. At that one time, in that one moment, yeah. Uh huh. So with that, I'm gonna ask you, um, who ha who here has somebody next, not next, like hello, you're next to me, like next to them at home, where they can just pick up and have a conversation face to face? Is there anybody? Okay. Uh, lucky. Like lucky, lucky. You're, you're so lucky. My neighbor, when I talk to him about Game of Thrones, he's like, I do not, like, y y we, we don't need, like, it's like I'm selling, like, I'm not selling you anything, I'm just excited. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you're selling, no, I, I don't sell, I don't, I, if they don't want it, they don't want it. <laughs> like, or, or when you start the conversation with somebody that they, they're not really a, a fan fan, they, you know, they watch it, and then you, they just get that glassed over look. Oh, gosh. Right? Like, <laughs> Yes, Nancy. What are you talking about? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> but but you know. <laughs> wait, wait, come back. But yeah, go ahead. Totally, it's, it's, everybody's done it. Like I'm, I'm, like okay, what level of fan are you? Like, oh gosh. How deep are we gonna go on this, right? Like we'll go down the rabbit hole, right? We'll be uh, I here saw for hours. your hand first. I'm sorry. Yes. Yes. <laughs> right? And you're like, right. you're like right there. <laughs> yes. My, exactly. I was, a couple weeks ago, I, I love steak. So I'm like, eat, I'm already happy, happy, you know, having my steak. I'm getting ready to pay. And then this waitress is like, I love you. Is it like, and she's like, I'm like, I made it. It's like, and then we talked for like 20 minutes. She's like right there. She, I'm like, can you like sit with me? Like, no, <laughs> we can talk, right? You can take your break. And she just sat down and we talked Game of Thrones, like right there. It, it's amazing. And I'm sorry, you were, I, I saw your hand first. After. Right. The, it gives you, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Per perfect agree. segue. I was going to ask you, Tony. Go ahead. So I think we all agree that Joffrey's a dick, though, right? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't we just love <laughs> hating him? I was so like sad and happy. I'm, I, we all. I know it's, it's not about me. It's about us. Your hand. Yeah. So is he here today? Oh, yeah. 
But he's oh, had yeah. a, is he had a better panel than this one? Okay. <laughs> 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 They're their own people. And I'm so oh, many heads. Oh, my gosh. I, I want to ask everybody. But yeah. Should we? Are we? We good? Okay. Uh, well, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. I don't know what, the, what are we doing. We we'll do it live. We'll do it live. Okay. <laughs> uh, notes. Uh, I'm not going to throw it. Yes. Right. Really? <laughs> so th that's how it starts. See, that's how it starts. You told him, and then he had his opinion. He, he, I can talk. He had his opinion on it. So that's how uh, conversation starts. I love it. Yeah, Thank yeah. you yeah, for bringing it up. <laughs> well, then there you go. <laughs> to Tony, I have a question for you. Yes. Okay, let, let me just find it. I, I got this. I forgot what I was going to ask you. Question. <laughs> there. <laughs> Save. Yes. How many people are in the well same boat? Well, then welcome. Right? Yay. Many? Okay, right? <laughs> Yeah, and where have you been all my life? <laughs> yeah. No, this this is beautiful. This is like plus the understanding, and we're kind of. I saw your hand, Kev. You're paying attention, no, right? I know. You can say. You can. Yes. Hey, hey yeah. Gemma. Woo. <laughs> okay, they're they're paying attention. Sorry. You're good. No, you you don't have to say sorry. Just pay attention. Like, I just got excited. Just pay yes, attention. Carol. It will be fine. Yeah, yeah. If you were a book reader and you invited people into your lair. Oh, yeah, you were watching lair, them. No uh, setting up the trap. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Did anybody else do it? Did anybody invite people over just to watch the Red Wedding just so, so you could so sit back and watch their faces? I'm going to ask, you, and I know I already asked all of you, and I know my question, Tony, I promise. I'm on, I'm on point oh. right now, I think. What, what? So, uh, so who's the, um, you started... And I remember that. I'm just going to pretend I don't. No, I don't remember. Are you a book watcher for... <laughs> book I, can, I can English. I can English. I know that. Are you a show watcher first or book reader first? I was a book reader. We're going to give a shout out to... We can't just give Gemma a shout out without shouting out Kyle from Azora Hype Channel. Woo sitting back there right now. Can I do that right there? So I, I, was, I was a... Well, thank you, sir. <laughs> thank you. Give you the money later. All right, <laughs> you, know, you heard I, nothing. I, re I read the books first. I got into them. Man, actually, when my boy Michael Soriano, who's like a brother to me, he got me into the books when I was younger, and he's the one who get, got me to read it and stuff like that. And I remember, like, I, if I'm from in Queens, you know, I grew up around a lot of big thug dudes and everything else. I remember sitting out there reading the book and I'm like, "Why are you reading for?" <laughs> See, <laughs> oh, oh man, is big stuff about it. So that that's what it really was with me when I started my YouTube channel. I had nobody to speak to this about it. no one whatsoever in my life. No one had no one to say anything to. So I went on YouTube and I found a couple of channels. I found Aziz History of Westeros and I was like, wow, this dude knows everything. <laughs> <laughs> right? yeah, yeah, Aziz knows everything. <laughs> so then that, that's what it was. And I said, you know, let me start my own channel and just start saying the stuff. And then all of a sudden people started watching it. But that's what the reason, real reason why I got into it was just because I needed someone to talk, I needed to vent. Because I would just sit in my room and read the book. I would read the book and play the audio book at the same time. Like that's the way I go through it and stuff. And I'm just sitting there hours and hours and hours doing it by myself and just had to release it. So that's the reason why I started my channel and got into this. Yeah, I remember that story. 
No, I do remember, and I love it. Thank you for sharing it again. For those who have not heard it before, no. <laughs> Thank you. Now, Kev, pay attention. Uh, <laughs> yes, you, you next. Oh, yeah, yeah. Kev's checked back in. He's <laughs> I'm going to go with Kev right now. So. Same question? Yes, same question. I'm so keeping it simple. It's yes. weird. Like, I, I grew up loving high fantasy, but then you know, I went to college. I'm reading finance books. Anyone here finance or no? no like, do you know C, the CFA? You know that? The Charter of Financial Analysts. So, like, it's like I read those kind of books. It's like 5,000-page books, and you know, it's just very dry. I loved it, though, the numbers. But I, I hadn't read fiction since probably like 2000. I'm watching the show, watching the show. It was our, our Sunday thing with my boy I was living with. And uh, all of a sudden, season four, I think it was, it was season three or four. One of those two ended, and someone said there's books. And I'm like, wait a second. I don't have to wait till next season. And then within two months, I think, it was pretty quick. I read it twice and audio booked it three times, all five of them. I just went nuts. I was like, because it's like the CFA, same thing. Like, I study it until I feel like I know every word. And that's the goal with the song of Ice and Fire. But there's a lot of words in that. A lot of words. A lot of words. Yes, you can word. Don't worry. <laughs> you, you can read. Oh, no, you audiobook, right? What's that? You audiobook? No, well, now I have a, I do the ebook. So audiobook you do, oh, okay, e there you go. Depends on, if I'm at the computer, ebook and otherwise audiobook. Audio, basically, audiobooks are on nonstop. If you're not doing work, yes. you're like cooking, walking, everywhere but I go. Well, I was listening to music today because I don't listen to music enough anymore because yeah. of audiobooks. Yes. Say that again? I said, I'm watching you while I'm doing it. Oh. <laughs> Isn't it amazing <laughs> just to kind of watch? Thank yeah. You. Yeah. And you're done, right? Um, I'm finished. Okay. <laughs> okay. Next, <laughs> I'm just. Kidding. What? How do we get yeah. How? Like, no. Um, um, I can word it. Were you show watcher or book reader? Oh, that was. Yeah, I was book first. Book first. Book okay. First. Yeah. Okay. But it, I started. So I had a buddy back in high school. He got me started on Game of Thrones when it was literally the, the only book out was a Game of Thrones. Oh, wow. And he's like, dude, you should ch you should check this out. And I. I picked it up, I read through the prologue, and I was like, okay, that's kind of cool, and I put it down and just yeah. pick it back up again. Really? Yeah. Huh. Why? Like, after Why? After that prologue, and then all the hype started going about the show and everything, and, and I finally finished all of them. I just, like, smashed through all of them well before the, the show actually came out, like, probably a year before that. Uh, but I had a long break in between the prologue and, and getting to that one, right? <laughs> like, oops, I probably should have finished it. My, my buddy Mike was right. I should have read it. Do you, you uh, want to say something? Yes. So, do you guys remember Sir Waymar's uh, line in the books, the prologue? <laughs> You're close. You're close. <laughs> Dance with me, then. So, yeah, it's, it's a little uh, different than the show, but like they're they're fighting. It actually clashes a couple times. Right, it might is it before? It might be before they start dueling. No, I think uh, yeah. The guy just comes up and then he looks at the White Walker. He's like, because you know, Sir Waymar Royce is kind of a punk, but then all of a sudden he says, "All right." Dance with me, Dan. This is so cool. Yeah. It made him go from a bad guy to a, uh, you're a fan of him real quick. But that didn't do it for you? Or maybe you just didn't see that line? I, I didn't see the line. It, I should have picked up on it. Because that line but, itself but, I mean, would make was, me want to read the series. That was 20-something years ago, yeah, yeah. right? Like, I, like, I can't. You have a great you know, memory. It's, it's similar. Like, does anyone, did anyone here try to get someone in their community, like their friends or family, to watch it? And they started. No, they started, but then didn't continue. Anyone? And what, what wow. episodes did they stop on? Where did they bail at? Yeah, where did they bail? <laughs> God. That's, I'm the same. Oh my, my God! My my mom. I watched episode one with her. So pumped! Like you're gonna love this. And it wasn't that. It was the next thing. It was the push. She's like, and she looked at me. She's like, really? Do you want me to watch this? <laughs> that that push is what, what, what like my ex girlfriend. That's what got her what? to watch it because she didn't like it. But when she seen the push, she's like, I gotta find out what happens to the little boy. <laughs> <laughs> See, th that's the catch at the end. Like, that was one of the reasons I wanted to watch it. Because, like, okay, did he fall? Was it a dream? He wakes up. What's going on? That, that one really yeah. set the hook on it, yeah. too. I mean, you're like, what did I just see? I want to see the ending of that. Huh? <laughs> Flat. Yes, sir. Yeah. And it's not yet. This isn't white hat, black hat, right? I mean, they're not the stereotypical... You know, bad guy, good guy. Everybody's in a moral gray area, yeah. and that's what makes it really dynamic because you can they make them relatable. I'm trying the way that George writes it. It's relatable. I'm trying to catch. Tell me, tell me I, something okay. bad about Shireen. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that's coming. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> Shireen. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> well, she. Right uh, go ahead. You, you right. go ahead. Well, she she didn't live long enough what? to give her year to the bad. There's a question know? over there, and Jarrett's pointing. Some, somewhere there was a question right here. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> 
Indy in the house. Welcome. Welcome. Yep. <laughs> right. Oh, the deaths we wish upon them. <laughs> Endless. Is it the political intrigue? Tony, is it the sex? I, I'm is it the Tony, I didn't hear what. Who did you say, Tony? What? What? The what? sex. The sex. <laughs> <laughs> no, that. No, but perfect thing. I was going. This was, believe it or not, you probably won't. But this was my next thing I wanted to kind of mention. The one of the things that I I love about all this, all of this, is that we can kind of relate. Hopefully not to the killers. Hopefully not to the crazy people over there, but we can relate to some of it. We can see their flaws. And I can relate to Podrick Payne. Podrick <laughs> Payne? <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Good for you. Anyway, uh, so uh, before I go, so this is kind of um, why I loved it because there's no such thing as. We are never just good people. We're kind of bad people. We're good people, but we're everybody. We have the capability of both. And you yes. See it in the characters. And we, yeah. And right. Exactly. They, everybody everybody exactly. has to make a hard choice at some point. Yep. And it's not that they're and inherently yep. bad, but they're trying to do the best they can with what they have. And, and, and it's, it, it's written and really a twist, beautifully. And a twist to it is you live through it once and you think, oh, I will, you know, like this is the way I do it. You're faced with it a second time, you might do something different. Correct. And you never know. You think like I would. I would never. <laughs> yes, you would. How do you know? Like, of course you would. You, really, you, you have you not been. I know yes. You would. Like, <laughs> never say never. And Carol. So from a perspective of not all good men, yeah. I think that may be to your question, what draws people to this type of Do, I hope you don't have like Joffreys in your lives. Um, you, you do have Joffreys in your lives. Please don't don't feed them cake. <laughs> On eBay. <laughs> Right. Position to her daughter, who was her stomach, was sent away, but she was so upset. And she was so upset, and Jamie finds out she knew. Just when all that happened, she dies. Skip ahead, she gets that. That was the one time I sat there and I just cleaned up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the scary part. Like, we. Yeah, we dis we can discover crazy stuff about ourselves, like when we were rooting for Cersei. Like, yeah, who yes, rooted, who rooted for Cersei okay, uh, in that who, moment? Yeah. right. Like, there are some exactly. dark people. Um, yeah, we have some darkness like, in us inside us. I love yeah. Cersei. She's great. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> that that line she said. Right. She's a victim. So, Kev, you were saying something. She said that line, and I mean, obviously, she's a great actress. But it was um. Like why? Why would you do that? It was just such like a so, yeah. very human line. It, I don't know. It touched me. I'm and she that. doesn't. It, uh, yeah. It was. yeah. And there are not many of those in me. the show for my her. Only, yeah. My only daughter. Why would you do that? Yeah. There's no need to do it. Yes, ma'am. Right. That are inherently awful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
That yeah, was right? amazing. We, we just cheered on mass murder, yes. everybody. That's what we just did, right? A little girl did <laughs> like, that, and we were like, go, girl. And, 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 well, oh, yeah, yes, and there, 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 there was oh, food involved. God. Anybody having lunch after this? <laughs> I'm hungry. I, I'm still going to eat. Yes. Cool. Okay. Everybody, I, w- everybody I, was. I think I was in the minority and that I was kind of sad because I wanted Arya to, I mean, she sort of healed at the very end of the story. I wanted that to happen sooner, but it's not a fairy tale. And but obviously she, she can't had a heal. I was sad for her because not only did she do it, like because a lot of people take out vengeance or they get revenge in different ways. She walked out of there with a smile. It was pretty sick and twisted. And I was, and I love Arya. Aww. So I, I actually didn't like that scene. I mean, I loved it, but I didn't like it for her. She went full her. Sith. Everybody yeah. Oh, gosh. That. Like, in that moment, yeah. she went just full Sith. Yeah. Uh huh. And you can yeah. identify with it. it, it yeah. Everybody has the capability. Yeah. To, to counter that, though, the show gave us the other side as well. Like Jon Snow, when he, I mean, they killed him and then he went after them. He didn't cut off their heads, he, he hung them by, I mean, he technically used a sword, but really he gave them a dishonorable way by hanging them. But he had sadness on his face while he was doing it, you know? And so that was a very like big difference for him. Well, it was remorse yeah. because he knew what he was doing. He was, I mean, it was not for pleasure sword, because literally. he cut yeah. you. Yeah, well, I mean, Arya did the same thing, and she was like, she was like woohoo, yeah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dancing out of that. And I think a lot of people wanted Ali to die. I think everyone was like, oh, little bastard Ali, he's got to um. die. But, uh, you know, I, 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 I know how Ali would have felt in that. Yeah. Hey, Khan, well. sit down, Jon Snow. <laughs> <laughs> sit down, you, you get beyond the wall where you're supposed to be, you queen murderer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I, I, I think that, I, you know, well, Ali, well, look well. what happened to Ali. His, his people, were, his, his family was yeah. killed by the wildlings and stuff, you know? And then, then he goes and he, like, John, you're my hero. Everything else he does for him, you know? And then you, you're the one doing this to me. So I could, I could see it. He's a child, too. I'm like, Ali's an adult, you know what I mean? So I could see what Ali was. Alice for Thorne. Yeah. He was? Yeah, this is what I love about this. Like, we can have, like, I see it both ways, depending on what I, like, I can be like, yeah, I would have done the same thing if I were Ali. I would have anybody, killed them all. Was anybody wrong or right in that no, situation? No, well, that's the thing. Yes it, and no. Uh, that's kinda. the great part about it. That's like, why I you get to have a conversation sides. about it. It's amazing. Julie, yes, ma'am. There are no rocks here uh, for safety reasons. Gregor? Hmm. All right. May I ask why? Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry. He, he, okay. He drank his own Kool Aid. Yeah. Right? Uh, I mean, he was believing his own hype at that point, right? He be- believed everything that he had been told brought him to that point. He did. I think all the okay. lords, the high yeah. lords, have a sense yeah. of entitlement, right? But it, it's about winning. It's not about you know. You have to you have to gain that throne. You have to the win it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, you want to talk about having yeah. like PTSD from exactly. Earth? Viserys Targaryen. I mean, literally, he has yeah. it all day long. And then he was, uh, he was sold the underdog story. He's like, he's being chased by the entire world. They're trying to kill yeah. him. And, and, and in right conventional high fantasy, yeah. he's the one we're yeah, supposed to be rooting for, right? I mean, conventional high fantasy says this is the guy that's supposed to be the king. And nobody wants him to be on the No, <laughs> please ever. don't. <laughs> don't. So it's, it's really great how George twists the narrative. It, it, like, he's such a master of. Campbell's work that he manipulated the uh, the writing system and structure. It's incredible. And to add to that, because this is kind of like we're here. Why are we here? I mean, obviously, I need a vacation, and I love to talk to these people, <laughs> so that's why I'm here. But we're here because this man wrote this book, right? I, oh my gosh! Like I, I wonder. I keep wondering. Did he know? Like because we have an author here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah there author. we go. We have an author. We have two authors on the panel. Right? Yeah, I am an author too. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. And you're you? you're writing stuff. Yeah, yeah. There you go. So and I'm Kev has stories. I'm learning. There you go. <laughs> learning. We write stuff. We can word. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this man wrote that book, right? And that's how it all like twenty some years ago. 
And then, what, 10 years ago? Oh, oh my God, it flew by. Ten, well, how many years ago was the show? Like t eight? Eight, 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 eight? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Eight seasons, and then there was the, Almost seasons, a decade so out of my life. Yeah, yeah, Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so, yeah, he, he did that, and we're here. I, I think it's amazing. And this dude can... I'm saying I'm professional. This man, this dude, this dude, this dude. This dude can, can write. He, he made all this up. Like, this, I have no idea. The, the capacity of that brain. Oh, my God. I like that. Well, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Hey. Hey. People have different definitions. I want to hear what you guys say first. I, have no I think idea. I know the right one. <laughs> you, you, I'm, I'll go with you. I thought those were people who smoke weed and be <laughs> fantasy. <laughs> 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 Go ahead, Kev. Oh, do you guys? All right. So no, you go. Yeah. There are different ways of interpreting it. Um, one of the ones that I, so I go by is that you have like low fantasy and high fantasy. Low fantasy be something like I don't really know the story about Percy Jackson or something like that because it happens it in. It takes place in. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's where the you point. go to the Parthenon, right? Yeah. yeah. See. So it's got mystical fantasy elements within our real world. So and then like so this is only the way some people view high fantasy. And high fantasy is viewed as. Um, the same thing, mystical fantasy elements in a fake world, Westeros. It's not. Um, but there are other ways, like some people define it more just like the types of creatures or whatever. But uh, I think I think the one that I said, if you go to like Wikipedia, Wikipedia's got to be right. Anyone, <laughs> anywhere can write anything they want. <laughs> it's um, got to be right. Uh, okay. <laughs> Is that it? That's I'm from just the office. <laughs> no, you got, you got some time. I don't office, but I heard it's great. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Okay. And you, uh, hi, uh, can, Tony, your definition of what he just said. I can't repeat a question. I gave my definition of high fantasy, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All righty. It's Cheech and Chong reading fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> high fantasy, oh shit. Well, okay. You're going to go with that answer. Perfect. I love that. <laughs> there you, you go. Thank you, thank you. Uh, high fantasy, to me, it, it, you don't know that it's high fantasy until you get into it, right? Like, high fantasy to me is it's... It's something that you, you know it when you know it, right? It, it's kind of its own thing, and it has its own elements that come together for me. So high fantasy, like Lord of the Rings, right? Tolkien, I mean, that's like classic high fantasy right there. You have elves, you got dwarves, you got ants, you got everything going on, right? And Game of Thrones is in that same conversation because it is high fantasy, but it's minus the creatures, and it, it, that's the unique part about it. Every time you're playing Game of Thrones, Yeah, how do you explain it, right? Yeah. And, and to start with, they start making fun of all of it, right? Like snarks yeah. and grumpkins, and right? You can't be bothered with it. Can't can't be asked. So, so I wonder. What? Well, science fiction. So I wonder, like, if if a thing has a label of high fantasy, do you think that is being like kind of looked down upon? So I'm wondering. Are, so Depends I only on, okay. read high the, fantasy. No, I, right. I, I, you don't answer. Okay, fine. You, we'll skip you because you're, you're, yeah, you love that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Just turn off his mic. <laughs> anyway, w do you think it's being looked down upon if it's um, high fantasy? I don't know if, if that's the reason why people look down upon it. I think people look down upon things they just don't understand or they just don't like no matter what yeah. it is, you know, so I wouldn't True. just put that in the genre. Mm -hmm. You have the best. Uh, oh, did I just say that? I have to. Okay. <laughs> I didn't just say that. Yes, sir. Shame. Shame. <laughs> Shame. <laughs> he did his atonement. See? Well, then. Yeah. There's a. So I, I no, got awesome. one of my that is amazing. one of my favorite quotes ever comes from a different high fantasy series. Legends of Drist, anyone? No, Drist, no. It's um not a single one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there we Bob, go, Bubba. Bubba, 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 Bubba yes. Yeah, Bubba's in. So Big Bubba. shout out to Bubba. <laughs> Uh, hey, change is not always growth, but growth is often rooted in change. And it seems like you can change. It's one of the most admirable qualities, so my hat's off. Well, I'm not taking off my hat, but... <laughs> oh, no, no, you got to take this off. He, <laughs> no. No, you go pink. You, you. I'm what? trying to grow out my hair like a guy in another... I guess it's not fantasy. It's um, it's just historical fiction. Or, no, it's just fiction. Uh, 
what is it, the... Um, Uchard, Uchard Ragnarsson. What is yes. That? Last um, Kingdom. Yes. So I'm trying to grow it out, but it's like it's in that mid-range. He does not have so pink hair. I mean, he does, but the guy on the show hair. does. We know that. Yes, ma'am. Yes. And perfect segue, because I don't know how, anybody knows how many minutes we have left. Yeah, she, I she does, in the back, she's got the signs. All right, just making sure. Uh, actually, be, we, <laughs> we have 10 minutes left? Yes. All right, thank you. Bef before I go there, because uh, to your um, point that you were making, I wanted to ask the panel here, um, how did this show enrich your life? Something good, because there's a lot of negativity, and I don't want to bring it. And we know it's there are negative things, like if you're a creator or if you're, if you are, you know, just in the comments, you, there's stuff, and I don't want to bring it up here because I want it to be positive. I would like to ask you, like, how it has enriched, enri I can English, enriched your life. Hmm. I mean, you're talking about the, the monetary. Sure. No, if no, that's no. important. To you. I, I would <laughs> say that you know. It's opened me. As I said, it opened me up to people that I normally wouldn't have had the chance to talk to. I think it would be the same answer that that's how it would enrich my life yeah. more than anything. But, uh, yes, we I do love, love Tony. <laughs> love too. That, that would be the biggest thing, you know. It's just having friends, having like family that are friends, you know, having be able to go to a place and not being alone anymore, you know. I think that's yeah. the biggest thing, you know. That you just have a posse, you have a group that you can run with and stuff like that. So I would have to say that. Awesome. See, and before before you answer, may I? Up, how many of us grew up geek, like hiding in libraries or at I the did. arcade or yes. in the comic book shop, right? Like I don't know when being geek became chic, but it totally happened. And we were it all uh, along. And, and now and now Game of Thrones, everybody knows what Game of Thrones is, right? Yeah. Like you have to be under Castle Rock to not know what <laughs> Game of Thrones is. Castle Rock. Right? No, perfect, perfect. I wanted to ask: Is it okay if I take a picture of all of you? May I take a picture for myself? Yeah. Okay, so as... I totally already did it. <laughs> I didn't ask. I'm rude. I asked permissions. I'm like, may I? <laughs> anyway, so if you have something... Oh, you nice that too. Uh, continuing or Kev, and as he, they're, ex, um, they're answering, I'm going to take a picture. So. Carol, were you going to say something? Yeah, what I wanted to say was the full
community. The community that it's developed so around it is really what's amazing. I mean, you know, how long have you been on now, Tony? Like eight years, nine yeah, years, eight ten years? years? Eight years around. Eight years? Yeah. And eight years. So, and like, and I remember watching you back in the day with James and, and going on from those streams. I mean, and it was amazing because it developed this entire community on its own. And it's something that's really unique to Game of Thrones because you get to speculate, because there's so many questions that go unanswered. And you get a piece of it, and it invites it, right? You get to speculate. You get in. Who doesn't love aluminum foil theory crafting, right? Like everybody's got to pull I out some foil <laughs> once in a while, and it's and it's fun. Is there a right answer or a wrong answer? No. Who cares? It doesn't matter. We're having a conversation about it. And that's what that's what's amazing to me about the entire community as a whole. So. And mentioning that because we probably are only a couple minutes in, I'd love for you to attend all these people's panels. So if you can tell me where you're next. I'm at the YouTube meet and greet. So you want to meet and greet some okay. YouTubers? Well, I'll be up in that. What time right do you there. know? Right after this. Right after <laughs> this. Alrighty. Where are you at? Hopefully not right after this, because it's going to be a right failure. <laughs> okay. Kev, what are you doing next? Because you have a panel sometime. Uh, he's, you <laughs> at Journey's End in Nary's yeah. Stoneboy. Oh. <laughs> Alrighty. That That's was so a failure right now. My question was... <laughs> Na let's do names. My name is Kev. Um, yeah, Kev. Bridge yeah, from Bridge Four. Bridge Four. Bridge four. He, he, he has a channel. Bridge Four. You know, a little channel. You might C congrats heard. on the numbers, by the way. Now you, um, sir. Geek Chat One. Jr. from Geek Chat One. <laughs> and um, uh, Facebook as well. Yeah, Facebook group. Facebook. Geek Chat One, yeah. where we literally sit in there and talk about this stuff all the time. Yes. <laughs> do, do what? The Mad Chatters. Where are Mad Chatters at? <laughs> like, right. There you go. <laughs> Um, sir? I'm a Don Tony Teflon. Teflon TV is my channel on YouTube where I talk about the <laughs> 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 yeah. where I talk about all this stuff. And look, look, I'm here to hang out with people like this. This is a, another plus, you know what I mean? Bridge 4, I got to meet him. I got to meet JR, I got to meet LMR. You know, all these people I see in the chat, it's great to put a face with the voices in the chat and everything else. And yeah, when we did, I remember, I was going to get my man James Johnson. If you're on James of Thrones, I should check him out. He was the original person who made up that the Night King would be the big bad. He did that over eight years ago, and no one else did that. That was him. And he also made up the theory that Bran is the Night King. Didn't turn out to be true, but he <laughs> made it up, right? <laughs> so, but no, we, when we did it, me and him, is basically I was on his stream. We did that eight years ago. That was the first ever person on YouTube who ever streamed a Game of Thrones stream, did a live stream. No one did that before when we were doing that and stuff, and it's become so much bigger and now everyone live streams and stuff like that. So shout out to James of Thrones who really set all that up off for everybody else. If anyone Ooh. here it doesn't go online, you're just part of the offline community, trust me, Teflon TV, go there. A lot of us in this room are always, the second he goes online, we are there. We're like, the we're chat. on it. <laughs> He'll sometimes have people on, but it's like, we are there. He's just, he's, well, obviously you see, he's the best. He's oh, so, thank it's, um, you so much. You can get to know yes, him better, you can get to know a lot of us better because we're in, we're in there. Um, and tef Teflon TV, do it. And it's amazing to just hang out over there. And we comment. We talk. We do. Yes, we do. Hey, you ha Inside you, the live you chat, there's an entire conversation happening. That, that we we, 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 we swap recipes, too. We hilarious. swap recipes. You have a piano do, in your hotel room. Or, huh? You have a piano in your hotel room here. I do, yes. How do you? I do. Teflon. He's Tony, <laughs> that's how. <laughs> the Don, man. The Don. The Don. Exactly. Um, are we good? Are we? I don't let the people know who you are. Oh, living my web city, LMR. Hello. <laughs> These people agreed to, you know, stream. Oh my God, I keep streaming, talk streaming. These people agreed to panel with me, so thank you for doing that for me. Absolutely. Thank well, you. Me, and this, Louis, so is this your first panel ever? This is. Is yeah. your first panel ever? Yep. And it's your first panel ever. For Kanye. For Kanye. You're, you're for Kanye. Give it up, man. To the people right here, they did a great job on their first panel Ooh. ever, right there. Great job, great oh. job. <laughs> My pleasure. Um, are we still good? Are we out? I think, well, we're... Four, four, four minutes. All right, four minutes. Four. Questions. questions. Questions for them. Questions. Know? Yes, ma'am. She's here. <laughs> <laughs> Shereen Baratheon in the, for the show. Uh, She's uh, yeah. you know, uh, uh, I'm a Jamie Lannister fanboy, hardcore. I like. I'm not. In, I'm not into photographs, autographs, and stuff. Literally, it was like two weeks ago. I'm on a live stream with them, and I was like, I just like, guys. Last night I cracked. I'm getting a photo with Jamie Lannister. <laughs> <laughs> I love yeah, him. I love him so he, much. he geeks out. But I love a lot. Of, oh, there's so many great characters. Awesome. 
you go. I, I, I'm still waiting my answer. I'm Yo, buying time. Your answer together. I'm buying time. So, Davos. Uh, Davos. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I love Davos. He's, he's my absolute favorite. I mean, Jon Snow dies, right? Who would you want to be there when you're coming back to life and you don't know what the hell just happened? You want Daddy Davos hanging out there being like, I got a cape okay. for you. Good. You're here. You're alive. It's going to be all right. Now go out there and fail again. All right? I mean, you, <laughs> Best you want speech that ever. Talk, don't you? I mean, you want Davos to be there. So Davos awesome. is always my number one. And who's the early least? Because uh, there, at least, because there was a question. Tywin too, too. Lannister. Everyone loves there him. You go. He's so he's terrible. He's the worst I ever. I love Tywin. I mean, oh, he's a, right there. Boom. He's a that, great that's character. why we have this question at the end. He's very well people. written. Tony, Extremely what's your? Well active, but oh, he's a Tony. terrible human being. And Robert. He's gonna go forever. Yeah, I think Charles people Dance. confuse Charles, uh, Dance, Charles Dance, Dance with <laughs> Tywin yeah. Lannister, and I think people like Charles Dance more than Tywin Lannister. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, my favorite character is. The one true king of Westeros, Dance Baratheon, of course. Oh. All righty. Of course. Of course. Oh, nice sigil. There, there you, you go. See shirt right there. <laughs> yep. That is the greatest character. Awesome, a awesome. Shadow of a doubt. Bo- <laughs> nice sigil. Born amid salt and smoke. What is he, a ham? <laughs> <laughs> Tasty ham, I'm sure. Oh. <laughs> He's funny. He's hilarious. Awesome. I, I guess I like who I, I like three people, which is what um, obviously Arya and then um, Tyrion and uh, Jamie for different reasons because they're complicated. That I like complicated people, so that's why I love them. And I I don't know if I hate anybody. Um, I don't. Yeah, remember. I was gonna say shout out to Sandor. Who said yeah. that? Yep. Yeah. I was literally yeah. waiting to say yeah. that. Yeah. Gotta give it to him. Anybody? Shout out the names. That just one big thing. Who? Who, who else? Dion. 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 Dion the Dickless. Who? <laughs> Samwell Tarly. Oh, right. Samwell. Sam, Samwell. Bubba, Samwell. what do you got? <laughs> okay. <laughs> he does have a great voice. I was implying that I fall off horses. <laughs> Great question, Baba. We're going to see you on the next panel with your questions. <laughs> Keep it's them coming. Oh, it's, it's I see a question there. Was you? there was, someone was in the chat one time and like, we finally found out what he did. <laughs> I'm sure. He sang to them. Of course it was Baba. <laughs> you know Baba. He used his tongue. Sir, you have a question. On a um, suit? Yep. We're all here, um, right? And the show is over. We're still I, here, I, right? So it's going to be different. It's going to be different. Fan, fandoms only die when fans let it die. Look yeah. at look at Firefly, right? They, we, we, we moved an entire so universe to get Serenity made, right? And with that, that show ending, I got a card. Pink card says end. So perfect, perfect ending. I mean, not perfect ending for the, that show, but for us. Thank you so much Thank for being here. So we'll see you next time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Jenny had danced with a ghost.